Hi, I'm Bradley of Bradley Teaches, and today I'm going to show you how to make a thumbnail to help promote your video with Canva. So let's get to it. Let's get started. Create a design presentation, and we're going to go through the process here of creating something very similar to the thumbnails that I create for my YouTube channel. So let's start off with a background. And I'm going to go with a paper texture, something just basic. And that's good for now. And then the next thing we're going to do is add the little circular area to the side. I'm going to go to elements and pick up the circle. And I want this curve to fill the whole left hand side and still look a little bit circular. So I like that look to it. Let's bring it over. And now we need to fill in the little gaps here. So I'll do that with a square. Hold down shift, click both of those, group them, and I'm going to color them gray. So now let's copy that, paste it, and we're going to color this one white. And we're going to enlarge it just a little and drag it back over. Let's position that to the back. And we want to kind of create a pseudo outline for this. That looks good. So now we have that part done. The next thing we want to do is add our icon or picture that doesn't have a background on it and add the stroke around it. So I'm going to go here to my folders, restream, and pick my Memoji head icon. Let's drag it over here. I'm going to enlarge it a little bit and put a little tilt on it. So now we want to add the stroke around the outer edge. So I'm going to go to effects, shadows, glow, click it a second time to edit it. Zero blur, 100 transparency, increase the size and make it white. Apply. Okay. So the next part is the text and that part is a little bit more difficult, but I think if you put in the time to do what I'm about to show you, it's going to be another step above what other people do with their text. I'm going to use a big, bold font and we're going to have a stroke and a shadow and all those kind of things on it. So let's go here to our text, add a heading and let's type out the title for our thumbnail. And I'm leaving the word with off of this for now, and you'll see why in a second. So we're going to highlight this and we're going to pick a big, bold font and I'm going to make it 128 and click bold again to make it even bolder. All right. So now we're going to have to add some customization to this text. And the first thing we're going to do is go over here to the spacing option and change the letter spacing to a negative. We're going to go in the fifties. And we're going to change the line height to less than one. And also what I want to do now is space over the word Canva. So now what I want to do is make two more copies of this text and we're going to start adding effects to the other layers. But first let me make this white. So we're going to copy and paste it twice. So for this first layer, we're going to add effects, hollow, kick it up to a hundred and make the color black. So that is our text outline. And the next one, we're going to go to effects, shadow, change the offset to something in the sixties, direction, 1920 is fine, no blur. And we're going to do transparency in the sixties and make that color black. Good to go. So those are our three layers of our text, the text, the outline and the shadow. All right. So now, as you see, we also have the word with missing. I want to make that a little bit smaller, but in Canva, if I make one word on the same line, small, it makes every word small. So that's why we have to make with its own separate text box. All right. So we have these three layers. So now what I'm going to do is click all three of these and let's copy paste those. I know it's going to get a little bit messy, but stay with me. So let's do this one. We're going to say width and we're going to make it 
Let's go 95. Drag it so we can see it. And finally, and the word width will not be white. So let's make it another bold kind of color. Let's go with this teal. So let's stack these up. So width over that width and let's bring it to the front. Then the shadow for width goes in the back. Let's just make sure it's in the back is good. So I'm gonna select those and group them. So now let's do the same thing for the rest of the text. Outline, line it up, position backward, shadow, line it up, and it's already in the back. Select all of those, group them. I kind of like that placement. We're gonna add the word width here. All right, so now let's colorize this background. So we're gonna click the background, go to effects. So we're gonna to go to duotone. It doesn't matter which one you pick, because we're going to change the colors. So do a tone, click it a second time. I'm going to go to highlights, pick an orange for the next color. Let's go with a darker kind of orange. So now we just have the little final pieces. So let's go to elements, circle, and maybe we'll put a little circle here. And we're going to go to our folders, restream, and we're going to add our restream logo. Right, and a little bit more text. And we'll say powered by bold white. And we'll make this black and add more text. So that is a quick and easy YouTube thumbnail using Canva. So see you on the next video. Bye-bye.